Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to cover a fundamental tool of technical analysis, moving averages. Not only you will get a comprehensive introduction, but I'll also share with you what I consider a stellar strategy using a single moving average. So whether you are an advanced trader, a veteran, or a beginner, you will probably find this strategy to be the only one you will ever need using a single moving average. So let's dive in. I think you know what a moving average is. You probably used them before and got very disappointed with them. That's normal when you use them in the wrong way with the wrong purpose. As the name indicates, a moving average is just the average of a certain amount of data. For example, let's say that we want to know what the 10 days average of closing prices is. Then we simply add the closing prices of the last 10 dates and divide the sum by 10. That would be the average. But when this is done on a daily basis, as we do in trading, the data will be changing and of course moving as prices change. Hence it is called a moving average. That type of calculation is what it is used for what we call a simple moving average. But there are other ways to calculate moving averages. For instance, you can calculate the average of the highs or the average of the lows or use the opens instead of the closes to calculate them. We can also use more sophisticated formulas to calculate other types of moving average, such as the exponential or the weighted moving average. They are calculated by giving more weight to more recent trading data. For example, in a 10-day simple moving average, we give the same importance to all days, remember? We add all the clauses of the number of days we want to calculate and divide that sum by the number of days. That means that the last day has the same weight as the first day we used to calculate it. So the closing of 10 days ago had the same importance as the closing of yesterday. It is as if each day had 10% weighting, so to speak. But you may think, hold on. I'm more interested in the closing from the last few days. And that would make sense. So that's how the weighted moving average came into being. To calculate it, the closing price of the 10 day would be multiplied by 10. The 9th day would be multiplied by 9. The 8th day by 8 and so forth and so on. That way, the recent closing will have more weight and the moving average will be more sensitive to the recent price action. Of course, I'm giving you an example to calculate a 10 period moving average, but the same thing applies to any period. The truth of the matter is that exponential and weighted moving averages are more conveniently used in the short term, precisely because they give more weight to the most recent prices. Now, we already know what a simple moving average is. Traders refer to it as SMA, and we even know how to calculate it. But in this course, we are more interested in how to use them in your trading and analysis, since the calculations of them are made automatically by all trading softwares. Even the calculations we just spoke about are useless because the computers do it all for us. They are only useful for you to understand better the differences between an exponential moving average, a weighted moving average, or a simple moving average. So all we need to know is what moving averages are and how to use them. And regardless, we use exponential weighted or simple moving averages. They all have multiple uses. The most obvious is to mathematically identify the trend, as well as levels of support and resistance. And they are also used to spot momentum and give trading signals. The reality is that moving averages can help in so many ways that once we talk about them, you will understand why I'm trying to prod you into using them both in your analysis and your trading decisions. 
I believe the subject of moving averages is fairly large, so let's try to cover the most practical aspects of them that can help you in your trading decisions. Let's talk about using a moving average to identify the trend. Some people are privileged to master the Elliott Wave principle to identify the trend. But for the vast majority of traders, identifying the trend is actually a mystery. Using a moving average may be the best solution because it is completely objective. As I said before, it's actually a mathematical calculation. So when we use a moving average to identify the trend, we are virtually using math as a trading tool. The most common way that analysts use moving averages to identify the trend is by looking at price in relation to where it is to the 200 daily simple moving average. If price is below the 200 SMA, the trend is down and you should look for short sell opportunities. If price is above the 200 SMA, the trend is up and you should look for buying long opportunities. You see this definition even on TV when they interview analysts. They always talk about the position of the 200 daily SMA on the stocks or commodities they are discussing. What that means is that if prices are below the 200 moving average, you should only sell and never buy regardless of the time frame you use to trade. And if prices are above the 200 moving average, you should only look for buy opportunities. This is a two-day chart of Amazon with the 200 daily moving average. You can see how once the prices penetrated the moving average, they remain above it in an uptrend. At the end of the chart, the uptrend is already in danger as the SMA wants us to stay aside until prices start printing below the 200 SMA and the downtrend is established or the uptrend is resumed. This approach has been used for years with relatively good results, but it requires the trader to be super patient, particularly because new trends often start from the opposite side of the SMA. So it can take days, weeks, or even months before prices are on the right side. On this daily chart of yen, you can see how with this approach, we would have had to wait until prices were above the SMA and enter almost in the middle of the trend. So you can see that there are also disadvantages to this approach, but it is indeed a very sound strategy. Obviously, once the prices are above the 200 SMA, that gives us the three C's that I believe are essential to trade successfully. The three C's are confidence, certainty, and calmness. It's only when we have a high level of confidence that we would not only stay on a winning trade, but we would also add to our positions and capitalize on a single trade. And it's only when you have this level of confidence that you can trade with calmness. Now I know you're wondering if you can use this strategy to trade off an intraday chart. And the answer is absolutely yes. Many professional traders do and do so very successfully. The way to do it is very easy. You can use virtually the exact same idea and strategy we just discussed, except that instead of using a 200 daily SMA, you would use a 30 period in whatever time frame you want to trade, even in a daily or a weekly chart if you are looking for longer term investments. Let's use the exact same chart of yen, except that this time, instead of using the 200 SMA, we will use the 30 SMA. You can clearly see that using the 30 SMA, we would have been able to enter the position much earlier and take advantage of a much larger portion of the uptrend. I know it looks too easy to be true, but this strategy using the 30 period moving average can be extremely profitable and it's used by professional traders and institutions all over the world.
Hello, it's Sidi again. Just a quick pause for something incredible. If you are serious about mastering technical analysis, then don't miss out on our Technical Analysis Mastery 114-day course. It is an absolute transformative journey for any trader. Interested? Then click on the link below for further details. Also, if this lesson has added any value to your trading knowledge, let us know in the comments below and share some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. More importantly, don't miss out on any uh, future expert insights and subscribe to our channel. Let's continue. Here is a strategy simplified in two steps. One buy on the first close above the 30 period simple moving average unless this is steeply pointing downwards and two exit following two closes below the 30 period simple moving average and when either of these closes is below the lower of the previous two significant relative lows what is a relative low? A relative low is made when the bar to the left and right of it are higher than the bar with the lowest low. Think of it like a hand pointing down where your middle finger is the lowest low and your index and ring fingers are higher than the middle finger. From where the second close below the moving average is made, move left horizontally and see whether the last two previous lows were made above or below this second close below the moving average. In case of the former, you stay long. If it is the latter and the close is below the last two relative lows, then you exit the position. Very simple process on two steps. Now you wonder, can something so simple as using a 30 moving average be an effective strategy that generates profit? Well, let me show you another example. This is the weekly chart of the dollar index. Let's go through it in details. Here we have the first close above the moving average. Of course, prices are coming down in the downtrend and now they are trying to recover, but the moving average serves as resistance, send prices back down and they try to go back up and finally they are able to close above the moving average. And by the time they do so, the moving average is not steeply pointing down. So we buy there prices start going up and unfortunately they start coming back down so we get the first close below the moving average and the second close below the moving average so from this second close we look to the left horizontally and see if the relative low is below or above it you can see this is the relative low because this would be the middle finger, this would be your index finger and your ring finger, right? So this would be the first relative low and this would be the second relative low. And you can see that these lows are way below that second close. So we don't exit the position. Then we have two more closes, same situation. Look to the left, the lows are still below that. Then we have two other closes and the same position. The closes are still above the second relative low. And like that, prices start coming back up and now close again above the moving average, giving us the opportunity to add to our position. Every time prices move below the moving average and then go back up and close above the moving average, it gives us an opportunity to add to the position. So now we have two positions here and from there prices start going up always when trying to come back down they are stopped by the moving average offering important support there. You can see that support was never 
never violated and we didn't even get the opportunity to add more to the position simply because we didn't even get a close below the moving average so you can see how wonderful strategy that could be obviously I'm talking about a weekly chart here sure you're thinking but you're showing me a weekly chart how about an intraday chart so let's do something let's try to use the same chart but let's go to an hourly chart okay about the same instrument here we are at an hourly chart of the same instrument let's make the same analysis if you wish so let's start again prices are going up we have the first close above the moving average the moving average is pointing up it's not steeply pointing down so that means that we can buy here and we wait until we get two closes below the moving average which one happened here one close right below the moving average and prices continue moving up so we don't exit the trade here we have a close below moving average we have the second close below the moving average but when we look to the left you see the relative low is here the second relative low is here therefore we don't exit the trade prices start going back up we get an opportunity here to add to the trade because there was a close above the moving average there was another close above the moving average here and so they continue moving sideways until here we get a close below the moving average and we get a second close below the moving average but when we look to the left we see that there is one relative low here and another relative low here well that means that the closes are above that so we don't exit the trade prices go back above the moving average giving us another opportunity to add again to the trade and up it went and it has gone and if you are not convinced yet you are thinking well that's still an hourly chart and I like scalping you know I like trading off a one minute chart or a three minute chart well let's see if the strategy works in those situations as well how about we move to a three minute chart and then go again through the same process all right yeah let's start from here let's say prices go above the moving average here they close above the moving average here we went long there okay this is a three minute chart so this is basically scalping we go along at 112.51 and now prices close one close below the moving average so that doesn't help us the second close is above it so it allows us to add to our position here unfortunately we have two more closes below the moving average so we have to look to the left when we look to the left we see that the relative low before that and the second relative low are way below the close so we stay in the position prices now go back above the moving average close above it so we add another position to our trade and off it goes all the way up to 112.94 remember we entered right here at 112.51 now we have 44 points that means even for scalping the strategy will work so now it's your time to apply what learn in this lesson and test the strategy take notes of the results and then once you have accumulated enough data you can conclude and decide by yourself if indeed such simple approach using a simple moving average can help you generate profits so the question is if something so simple as using a 30 moving average be an effective strategy that generates profit the answer is absolutely yes but truly it doesn't matter what I think you need to find if the strategy would work for you and your personality and the only way to do that is for you to test it